Hello friends, this is Dr. Zugo coming to you. Today, we will be discussing the different types of hypertension that can happen during pregnancy. We can categorize them into four categories. The first one is called chronic hypertension. This is a situation where you are known to have high blood pressure even before you become pregnant. Or you are diagnosed with high blood pressure before 20 weeks into your pregnancy and continues through your pregnancy up to 12 weeks or more after delivery. The second category is gestational hypertension. This is a new onset high blood pressure that is now diagnosed 20 weeks into your pregnancy and is defined as a blood pressure systolic of 140 or diastolic of 90 which is now taken in two separate occasions, separated by four hours and noted to remain high. The third category is called preeclampsia. This is now when the blood pressure that has been diagnosed as new onset is now being complicated by protein in the urine, indicating that the kidneys have been affected by that blood pressure and sometimes the other, other organs such as even the liver and it can progress to get worse. The fourth category is called eclampsia. This is where now the blood pressure has gotten worse, affecting other organs, and the patient is having seizures. And there's no other explanation for the seizures but the high blood pressure complication issues. Of course, you can also have a situation where you have chronic hypertension complicated or superimposed by preeclampsia or eclampsia. When you set into preeclampsia and eclampsia, the complication involving the mom and also the fetus becomes high, including such things as fetal death and also maternal death. And so early detection and management to avoid such complications becomes very paramount. Remember, the mom who is diagnosed with high blood pressure during pregnancy is at increased risk of the same high blood pressure problem with subsequent pregnancy. She's also at increased risk for developing heart conditions such as heart failure in the future as well. So again, early detection, proper management and education are vital. Again, this is Dr. Zgo coming to you on different types of hypertension during pregnancy. Thank you.